Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord, our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today is Tuesday, May 19th, sixth week of Easter. To celebrate this Eucharistic manner in a worthy manner, let us recall our failings and shortcomings and ask God his pardon. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolations of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty and merciful God that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magist magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, they were suddenly, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all chains of all were pulled loose when the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open he drew his sword and was about to kill himself thinking that the prisoners had escaped but paul shouted out in a loud voice do not harm yourself we are all here he asked for a light and rushed in and trembling with fear he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He broke, brought them up into the house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorio. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right, right hand saves, saves me, me, O Lord. Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. 
You write and saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right, right hand saves me, O Lord. The Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right, right hand, hand saves, saves me, me, O Lord. Lord. Your blessing, Father. May the Lord be in your heart and the lips that you may proclaim his word earthly and well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your heart. But I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict, convict the world in regards, regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. My dear friends, we can sympathize with Paul's indignation at being thrown in prison, even if prudence could have saved him a lot of trouble. When Paul spoke up on behalf of the unfortunate girl whose fury was exploited for profit by her boss, he and Silas, were arrested, flogged, and thrown in prison. Such a flogging of Roman citizen was against the law. So Peter, so Paul later demanded and received a public apology from the magistrates. In jail during the night, as Paul and Silas were singing hymns to God, an earthquake broke down the prison gates. But although they could have escaped, Paul and the other prisoners remained where they were. When the jailer woke up, he saw his prison gates open and drew a sword, intending to kill, kill himself rather than be painfully executed for neglecting his duty. Paul took pity on the man and calmed calm him down. Then after a quick instruction about Jesus, he baptized the jailer and his entire household. The grateful jailer then threw a party for those who had been his prisoners. What a roller coaster of experience for the two missionaries. Like Paul and Barnabas, 
Christians today are at a loss to know just where God is leading our church. Situations of crisis are not only a test of our character, but can lead to renewing our trust in the Lord. The love of Jesus is no less able now than, than to bring things to a good outcome. Even from a threatening vortex like a viral pandemic, some worthwhile changes may emerge and as Julian of Norwich serenely believed, all manner of things will be well. A first impression in a crisis can be wide of the mark. We need to seek divine guidance to see others as God sees them, to judge as Jesus judges. It is the Holy Spirit who gives us God's protect perspective. Let us see as God sees. Be wise as God is wise. That is why we call on the Holy Spirit to fill the hearts of the faithful. Today's Mass is being offered in memory of Helen Maris. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become our, become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. With the humble spirit and conduct, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may sacrifice in this place be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice sacrifice from your hands for the the praise praise and glory of his name, name, for our good and good of his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that a renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending the Holy Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, may, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Her mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O oh, Father, Lord, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take Lord, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take, take away the sins of the world, world. grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us for his sake. 
May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, let us join together in the prayer of spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace your, you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Good Saint Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our family. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raise Jesus the High Priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes 
to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. Amen.